actually happens in your brain when you gamble. It all starts with dopamine, the chemical that makes you feel pleasure and reward. When you gamble, your brain floods with dopamine, making you crave another bet. Your brain starts feeling gambling with pleasure even when you're losing. Because it's a little known fact, but in the mind of a gambling addict, more dopamine gets released from placing a bet than winning or losing it. That's why people keep playing in spite of any past results, just hoping for that next high that comes from staying in action. And then there's the near miss. When you almost win, your brain reacts like you did win. This tricks you into believing that you're getting closer, even when you're not. This is actually why parlays are so common for gambling addicts to make, because if you hit three of four legs, it creates a near miss and leads to the, oh, we'll get them next time reaction that justifies placing that next wager. Over time, gambling changes your brain by creating new neural pathways to compensate for the intense amount of dopamine that's released from your gambling. The end result is that this makes it harder to control impulses to gamble more. That's why so many people feel stuck in this cycle. But understanding how gambling hijacks your brain's reward system is the first step to breaking free. These pathways can heal with time away from the bet, and life gets better if you choose to leave gambling behind. Follow if you've ever felt that rush of a near miss 